What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeremy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video. And the Mr. Beast drama has been just so insane over the past several days. Ever since the Chris Tyson debacle happened, it's been pretty obvious that Mr. Beast has been trying to sweep everything under the rug. And when it comes to the latest video that Mr. Beast released sometime on August 3rd, it has been ratioed to heck and back. Now there's been serious debates in regards to these ratio numbers because it doesn't make logical sense what is going on here. The extensions have always been relatively accurate, if not a little under or a little over. They've never been this drastically off. And you ended up having people like Keemstar coming out here trying to say that no, it's not accurate. And they deleted a bunch of tweets because Mr. Beast came out and decided to show us what his actual like to dislike ratios are. But that wasn't making sense because his like to dislike ratios were sitting at 99.6%, 99.1%. And heck, you even come over here to the freaking Chucky who works for Mr. Beast trying to say that again is at 99.1%. And these are the accurate numbers that you're seeing. They, they don't seem very accurate. This extension has never been this drastically off. And the things that make it even more weird is when you realize that days before this video released, Mr. Beast was going around sending out cease and desist to individuals like Nathan W who was responsible for the Discord leaks that were showing what Chris Tyson was doing on Discord and also implicating Mr. Beast in what Chris Tyson was doing with minors. And the fraud video that easily laid out that Mr. Beast has been lying and manipulating everything this entire time. Well, it now gets deeper because we're gonna come over here to Upper Echelon's latest video titled, Mr. Beast is covering up everything. This is his part two, part one went over a bunch of the drama and a bunch of the backstory already. I'm four minutes into this as of right now for a very specific reason. He is laying out the entire story thus far and then is going to be showing you some evidence that he acquired due to some internet sleuthing that he utilized. This one, the newest one, is about surviving 100 days in a nuclear bunker, and the video was immediately met with controversy after various dislike viewing extensions for YouTube showed that the video was receiving hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of dislikes. Well, the accuracy of these extensions got very quickly called into question, some YouTubers saying that they're wildly inaccurate, others running with the number that the video was being disliked by millions of people which more than likely it was, but I'm not here to try to interrupt him a lot because he's gonna lay something very serious out. But one YouTuber in particular chimed in, Keemstar, after deleting a post about how many dislikes the video had received, allegedly showing footage directly from Mr. Beast about the real numbers. This footage, apparently from August 3rd to 4th, showed 3 million likes, but only 37,000 dislikes which is actually lower than the entire channel average if you look at the typical ratio of 98.2 versus 98.8%. Keemstar firmly asserts that he was not lied to, he was not misled, and that he believes these numbers are fully accurate. But I would like to assert in my opinion that these numbers are in no way, shape, or form even close to accurate, especially when you consider and understand the full scope of what's going on behind the scenes. And this is where he's gonna start laying out his evidence and his evidence is shocking and i have his evidence right here and i'm going to be going over those as well because it is drastic what mr beast has been doing behind the scenes let's get to some data after this video went live people began to notice that their comments were being deleted to be clear youtube does have an auto mod feature that is extremely overzealous with what it takes down i see it in action sometimes on my own channel and there's always comments that do in fact deserve to be removed ones that use extreme language, aggressively linking to off-platform websites for the sake of generating traffic over there, or just genuinely attempting to be disruptive and harmful. However, after analyzing this video for the span of roughly 36 hours, and after putting the puzzle pieces together elsewhere, I find it completely impossible to believe quite literally anything that the Mr. Beast team says or does as being authentic and honest, because they are engaging in a targeted cover-up that spans across six years and multiple separate channels. This right here is the 36 hour period of time where the comment section of that latest video was scraped repeatedly and archived. Green is the total number of comments posted. Red is the total number of comments allowed to remain on the video actively. 
over that one single 36-hour period from August 4th to midway through August 5th, over 26,000 comments were deleted at a consistent rate, as well as in two very large major batches. In addition, and you can see that right there, these are the batches that were ended up being deleted. These are the ones that remain. As you can see, th these are the ones that all came in. Every single comment that came in, delete right here. More comments come in, delete right here. They keep the rest. You can see that. It's very accurate as to what he's laying out. And this was a big thing that people were pointing out in regards to this initial video. Several of these comments were coming in going like, oh my God, these are awesome. These are awesome. These are awesome. These are awesome. And then people were noticing like they were deleting stuff. They were deleting things. They were deleting comments. As of right now, these are newer comments, obviously. So some of these are probably a little bit more negative. But it's still questionable. Why were you deleting so many comments? What was going on there? And we can infer a couple of things from this graph, such as the usage of automatic filters, which would explain why the rate of new comments very suddenly drops off a cliff, also corroborated by showcasing the number of comments containing certain keywords over time. Here's a complete list of the comments, by the way, where you can see things like this showcasing that all at once for various keywords and phrases, dozens or even hundreds of comments will disappear in close proximity to each other. For example, comments simply containing the word script were suddenly mass deleted. Comments containing the word fake were mass deleted as well. And for the sake of transparency, I'm going to link this file down below in the description, along with other resources for anyone that wants to check or go back and see if their comment shows up here. Keep in mind, this is a rough 36 hour snapshot from the 4th to midway through the 5th of August, 2024. It's not the entire lifespan of the video. In reality, far more than these 26,000 comments have been deleted, much of it taking place before the data collection process began. This is just what Hoboon managed to directly capture. And I do have all those comments right here. You can see a lot of this stuff. You can see Hogo got manipulated hard. This video doesn't sit right with me. Uh, hey, bro, I love your channel. This one even got deleted. Like they were deleting weird comments all over the place. And when you scroll through some of these you, you, laughing faces, I mean, they're entertaining videos, but... Yes, this man's hiding from this easily, LMAO. Oh, yeah, that one got deleted. That one had to have been deleted manually because they'll do things like this in order to try to get around the auto mod. That one had to have manually been kicked out. Some of these things don't even look that bad, but they still got deleted. It makes you wonder, what, what, what were they doing? The real number of total deleted comments is much, 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 much higher than 26,000. But even with just one portion of data, I'm supposed to believe that a video where the creators are mass deleting tens of thousands of comments only has 37,000 dislikes and has a lower dislike percentage than the rest of the channel's videos? This is so far outside the realm of actual possibility, it boggles the mind. However, that's only the beginning, because this effort is far larger than the comment section of just one individual video. This right here is a video from six years ago where Mr. Beast decided to tip delivery guys $10,000. I have my gripes with his social mannerisms and the things that are actually done and said here. But if you scroll down, there's a jump in the most recent comments from 10 days ago to one month ago. All comments from the entire month of July were purged from this video. But the question then becomes why? Well, the answer is pretty simple. They were purged because they said things like this, quote, damn, the Shadman poster is actually there, end quote, linking to. Remember that? Remember all the comments about Shadman? Shadman's posters were coming up in Mr. Beast videos. And what is about to come out here shows you just how much effort Mr. Beast is going to cover up the Chris Tyson debacle and try to silence any and all dissent. Do nine minutes and 30 seconds. Interesting. There's a lot of these, by the way, for anyone who's curious. They were targeted and mass deleted as soon as they began showing up. What's even more interesting is that if you go to an archived version of this video, you'll see that the length is 12 minutes and 48 seconds. However, the current version on the Mr. Beast channel is 10 minutes and 26 seconds. Here's why. At roughly 9 minutes and 30 seconds in, as stated in the comments that were mass deleted, a portion of this video was cut out that showed the team in a living room and on the wall, sure enough, is a Shadman poster. 
the same poster that Ava Chris Tyson bragged about making a centerpiece of the living room. Mr. Beast went back to a video from six years ago. He deleted an entire month of comments as well as stealth edited a portion of the video out to hide things. The only word I can think of is cover up. Still not done. Turns. Oh, oh, it gets better. You think he just edited one video? out the Mr. Beast editing team has been hard at work stealth editing many more videos. Here's another example. Donating $10,000 to random Twitch streamers. 14 minutes and 41 seconds. However, an archived version is 16 minutes and 11 seconds. And the part that got removed is this. Mr. Beast sitting in a kitchen in front of a living room with the same poster on the wall in the background. Here's a complete list of the edits made to the Mr. Beast videos over the past couple of months for anyone curious to go look for themselves. This is all the stuff they're trying to hide on a plate for you. Also, here's a graph of the past few weeks, at least, to visualize it. And let's just do another one. Tipping Uber drivers $10,000, 11 minutes, 13 seconds. But an archived version is 12 minutes and 37 seconds. Once again, the section missing is a sponsorship from Quid filmed in the very same kitchen, overlooking the very same living room, showcasing the very same poster from Shadman. This one is funny, by the way, in a very twisted sense of the word. I spent 24 hours straight in prison challenge. Current video, 13 minutes. Original video, 14 minutes and 51 seconds. What did they remove? Well, they removed a roughly 30 second section where Jimmy says to the camera, probably shouldn't break the law because being in jail sucks. And then a section where Jimmy describes how he would hate to go to jail for a few years. Also some parts about Chris's butt and how Jimmy expects to see it all over Twitter as a meme. And then a part where he asks Chris Tyson, if you were to ever go to jail, what would it be for? Which is an odd thing to go back and edit six years later. It is odd to edit all that stuff out. Because it's not just editing out the Shad Man picture, guys. It's editing out everything. All sorts of questionable actions all sorts of weird things actually heck even the stuff that they're editing out here from this particular video it doesn't really make sense to edit any of that stuff out why would you be editing any of that out what who cares about these jokes i know that there was serious discussions about oh all the awful things they used to say in that discord and before or over on twitter nobody really cares about that except for a handful of people but why are you editing all this out if you're not trying to cover stuff up? That's the only thing that makes sense. And they're going hard on this, guys. They're, they're literally doing everything in their power to cover this stuff up. But I think you're starting to get the point. Because the Mr. Beast channel is going back more than half a decade to stealth delete all sorts of content and associations, as well as tens of thousands of comments to cover up whatever they can. Still not done. Mr. Beast has multiple YouTube channels, and one of those channels, publicly, appears to not have any videos on it. Except it does. They're unlisted videos. And August 1st of 2024, after the controversy started, that channel, once again, shout out to Hoboon, who is an absolute fiend when it comes to archiving data. As of August 1st, that channel pulled down four unlisted videos. For those of you who don't know how unlisted videos work, in order to see an unlisted video, they either have to one, be in a playlist, or two, you have to have a link to it. That, that's the only way to interact with an unlisted video. So the general public can't actually go in there and see these videos unless, again, you have a link or you have access to a playlist that they might be in. I've had unlisted a bunch of videos, mainly streams over the years, trying to do stuff. It, 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 it's a, it's a whole process, just trying to keep your algorithm safe and stuff like that. When it comes to this, though, this becomes even sketchier because now you're removing videos that I don't have access to, a lot of people don't have access to, and it's going to take internet sleuths digging deep to find any and all links to that. There's probably archived versions of these videos out there, but it does beg the question, why, why are you removing these? Huh? What's going on there? These four, we have them right oh, here. Oh, I One forgot of them about that. It's a fragment of the live stream where the alleged illegal lotteries took place. This one starts right from the beginning with a stone cold statement by Jimmy that he will be signing the t shirts, but he'll try to convince his team to sign them as well. And sure, it was a different stream where his team accidentally showcased that they forge his signature on the merchandise, but there is a reason that they are making so many stealth edits to all of their content. 
and pulling down pieces of evidence across the entire brand. The only word that makes sense, any sort of logical sense here, is cover-up. Side note, as someone who has such a profound and personal animosity for Shadman, I find it baffling that Keemstar, of all people, and Drama Alert are willing to believe, at face value, a numerical claim from Mr. Beast about the dislikes on his latest video, when that claim appears to be just flat out impossible. That is a good question. Why did Keem just flat out accept it? Just, just go ahead and accept everything that was being said. Now, it does beg the question, what the heck's going on there? H how are they doing this? Just me spitballing an idea out there. Could they possibly have a unlisted version of the exact same video that's not edited, that they are just going in there mass liking and downvoting and making up fake numbers? Th that's just me spitballing an idea out there. But don't have any proof to that. The only other thing that I could actually think to figure out any any of these numbers at all is if YouTube was going out of their way to delete dislikes, delete numbers, for messing with the system internally. Because nothing else makes sense. Yeah, you can have uh, this whole recording right here. You can have it on a private video, on an unlisted video. You, you can do all sorts of weird stuff on these things to try to fudge these numbers. So, so there's ways to do it. It's just how did they do it? Because the math doesn't math, guys. The dislikes are still going up. And this whole thing is so off. Why are the dislikes still increasing to this day? Nothing's making sense. I also find it interesting as their team frantically runs around deleting sections of their prior videos to cover up artwork by Shadman and delete jokes they made or scenes with Chris Tyson where he's acting strange and kind of inappropriate. As all of that happens, some of the largest voices in the community are willing to just take things that they say at face value? That's very strange to me. Most of all, however, I want to say once again that the metaphorical levy has broken. There's more coming, and soon, which dials up the intensity here, because the level of predation and unethical behavior, in my opinion, going with my gut here, which all of you will be able to weigh in on very soon, is much, much higher than what is known publicly right now. This is part two of the cover-up angle so far, but I want to end it all by summarizing the total picture. After allegations of illegal lotteries, rigged game shows, and predatory business behavior took place, the Mr. Beast team responded by sending multiple cease and desist letters. The yes, and we've gone over that. The fraud video received a cease and desist letter. The Discord leaks were receiving cease and desist letters. Let's say the fraud video was slander. Okay, send a cease and desist letter. Why are you sending one to the Discord leaks? That one doesn't add up. This is just leaks. These are things that were said in the Discord that they got access to. They were a part of the Discord. They knew it went down. They were leaking it. Why punish them? You're trying to cover stuff up. You're trying to silence your dissenters. And I got more, guys. I got more. The original leaks of behavior by Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson, got pulled. Criticism of unsafe working conditions got shadow banned on social media. Evidence of the live streams on Facebook got deleted. Evidence of the live streams on a separate Mr. Beast YouTube channel got deleted. Entire months of comment section activity got purged. Videos got stealth edited to remove any sign of Shadman's artwork. Videos got stealth edited to remove all sorts of jokes and remarks by and about Chris Tyson. Tens of thousands of comments got pulled from the latest challenge. And all of this happened before the most damning allegations come out. Because those, I expect, are right around the corner. My part to play in this is relatively small, actually, but I find myself intrigued by how it's all unfolding as the world's largest social media creator unravels. It's a media empire built on exploitation. A lot of people know that, and they can certainly feel it deep inside as they watch that type of content, but now it's being pulled to the surface, and seeing the response, the cover-up, as I call it, in real time, it's like a history-making internet experiment on the grandest scale imaginable taking place right in front of all of us. My role is simply to watch, listen, commentate, and inform. Also, to the Mr. Beast team, you are being watched. You are being watched by an unknown number of anonymous viewers. And you are being watched by people who aren't as easy to manipulate, at least not compared to the audience you typically exploit. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. And I wanted to play that last little bit because that's really what's going on here. 
We are watching the largest YouTuber in the world having all the skeletons come out over and over and over again. Discords are getting leaked. Videos are getting taken down. Evidence of any wrongdoing is constantly being covered up. You guys got to remember, I'm not just making it up when I talk about Mr. Beast and how much money is to be made there. This is a million dollar brand on the low end. It could be bordering on a billion dollars. There's a lot of money at stake in the Mr. Beast brand. That's why it's no real shocker that this also came out today. Mr. Beast's internal email leaked, question mark around that one, confirmed real. What does this one have to say? Again, they're trying to protect themselves. Dear Team Beast, I wanted to update all of you on the recent concerns that have been raised online and in the press. As I mentioned in my tweet a couple weeks ago, we've hired Quinn Emanuel, a top tier law firm, to do a full investigation of Ava Tyson's allegations. We also asked them to expand the scope to include a full assessment of our internal culture and to investigate allegations of inappropriate behavior by people in the company. Does that mean that you're also going to be covering in what you've said? How have you've interacted? Are you going to be talking about that? Because this all reeks of cover-up, by the way, and getting rid of potential liabilities. While the process is not complete, I have enough preliminary information at this point that I am announcing several changes today. As your leader, I take responsibility and I am committed to continue to improve and evolve my leadership style. While I have been mostly focused on creating content, launching feastables, building our community, and leading our philan philanthropy, Philanthropic, phil philanthropic, phil leading our philanthropic efforts, I recognize that I also need to create a culture that makes all our employees feel safe and allows them to do their best work. Therefore, along with Jeff Hausenbold, our new president and COO, we will be hiring a new chief human resource officer chief financial officer and general counsel along with other rules to add capacity and compensus to foster a better internal culture as we continue to grow. To start off, we will be instituting hiring a new chief human resource officer. We will be bringing in a second leader to help us build a more inclusive environment and a world-class HR team. I want people to realize something. HR does not stand for protecting employees. HR is there to protect the company. They only care about protecting the brand, making sure the brand is safe, making sure the company is safe. They aren't there for the everyday person. They're there for the company as a whole. Mandatory training. We are implementing mandatory training sessions on safety, sexual harassment, LGBTQ, diversity, sensitivity training, and workplace conduct for all employees. Well, my best friend, who I've known since high school, has been discovered as being a pedo. He has deep ties to the company and has deep connections to the company. I am now going to be making all of you go through this essentially DEI training and forcing you to take these sensitivity trainings. Yeah, more things to protect the company and the brand. Listening sessions. Jeff will be holding listening sessions across the company to hear directly from employees about their experiences and ideas for improvement. No mega company actually cares about listening sessions. Anonymous reporting. We are establishing an anonymous reporting mechanism to ensure everyone feels safe coming forward with concerns. Connected with HR just means this is an easier way for us to get rid of you. External review. 
We have engaged in an independent firm to conduct a thorough review of our policies and practices and implement changes. We've hired a bunch of people to say that we've done good work and to help make sure that this company does good work and doesn't have any more things come out. That's what you got to realize. This, this letter here, this email is to protect the brand and protect the company. It's not to protect employees. It's not to protect any other victims. It's to solely protect the brand. When you see other videos getting taken down, when you see those stealth edits, when you're seeing comments being deleted, when you're seeing what looks like fudgery going on with the like to dislikes and none of these numbers adding up or making sense, this is all of them trying to cover stuff up to protect that million dollar brand. That's why when we come over here to the latest from Nathan W, we are witnessing the biggest cover-up of all time by Mr. Beast. I've been doxxed, discredited, and had a life-ruining baseless accusations thrown against my name. Others involved have also. Since releasing Chris Tyson's Discord server logs, this has only added more fuel to the fire. Jobs not finished. They're attacking everybody that's coming out and saying what actually matters, saying what has actually been going on, trying to silence any and all dissent. They're trying to cover up one of the biggest scandals to befall the largest YouTuber on the platform and trying to silence anybody that's trying to figure out what actually is going on there. I agree with Upper Echelon when he says more things are going to be coming out because there's no way you can keep hiding anything that's been going on at that company. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye for now.